ask for a passion. We need God as a nation. Second Chronicles 714 says this. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven, forgive them of their sins and heal their land. I tell you what, it's time for us to humble ourselves. It's time for us to pray, but not just pray, but it's time for us to seek and not just seek, but it's time for us to repent, to turn away from our wickedness, to turn away from our sins. You see, there's more than just prayer. As Timothy talks about, there's prayer, there's intercession, there's thanksgiving and there's supplication. In America, we barely touch base with the 101, which is prayer communicating. But I tell you what, there's also intercession. Once in a while, we visit that. But then there's also thanksgiving. After thanksgiving, there's supplication. And the Lord spoke to me about each form of prayer. He said, prayer, that's the beginning. That's the relationship builder, you see. Intercession, that's the world changer. You want to change the world, begin to intercede for your family, for your friends. Thanksgiving, that's the confidence builder. You want to have confidence with God, begin to be thankful for what he's done. Supplication, that's the heart changer. You see supplication, that's the game changer. Hebrews 5, 7, it says this about Jesus, that in the days of his flesh, he offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears. To him who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence to God. Or his holy fear of God. And if Jesus our Savior prayed with such tenacity. Then why don't we pray? Why don't we seek God? You call a prayer meeting in the church. It could be a church of 500 people. By only 20 people come. Because prayer takes humility. It takes you saying you know what God I need you. I need you, Jesus, more than I need the air that I have, more than I need the food that I have. I need you. It takes humility. You see, we're unwilling to seek God. We rather answer to our idol, the phone. That when the phone begins to ring, we answer to that idol. We do answer the demands of that idol. But when it comes to the kingdom of God and seeking God, we don't answer. It's time for us to pray again. We must pray for this nation. We must pray for America. You see, mercy triumphs over judgment. And it's time for us to seek out the mercy of God. Oh, it's time to pray. You see, Daniel knew. Whenever his nation was called into Babylon, Daniel knew. The Bible says that Daniel prayed three times a day. Even when situation became dire, he prayed three times a day. Are we going to begin to pray? You see, when things get harder, we need to up our prayer game. We don't need to stop praying. We need to keep praying and keep on praying. You know what? We need to seek the face of God. And is there a people? Is there a generation? You know, if it's not the adults, then let the young people seek God. If it's not the young people, then let the adults seek God. But it's time for us to seek the face of God. Jesus. 